Hello everyone, my name is Ignacio and I will be talking about the workflow hub, which is a VCC for different kinds of workflows. So first of all, what's the idea of uh, the workflow hub? Um, I guess pretty much everyone knows that in the context of uh, reproducible research, um, sharing a workflow description is actually the most important part, mainly because it should contain the description of all the steps that are done in the in analysis both the steps and also the inputs the outputs and any kind of uh, environment uh, description that is required or it's needed to to be able to reproduce the analysis so with this in mind the idea of the platform is to provide a really easy to use um, registry that the users can upload their workflow definitions uh, however they are created and also search in a fair way and access um the entries that are uh, registered there so with this in mind and for the sake of time first of all i would like to encourage everyone to um, to actually access the platform and make use of it and for the rest of the talk i will i will try to explain a bit of the details of how it works uh, so first of all uh, the workflow hub actually has a really broad definition of a workflow because it can contain entries from workflows or any kind of discipline and also workflows described in different kinds of ways uh, in different kinds of language and also created with um, different workflow management systems. So it tries to be really agnostic in terms of the, the details of how it was defined, but just focus on the description and really a human readable description of what the workflow is about. So with this in mind, it's also important to know that um, it's not just a registry, it can also work as a repository, so users can upload their workflows, or they can also link if they are, for example, um, located in, uh, in GitHub or even in, in a Galaxy instance, they can make uh, a link to that uh, workflow and the workflow hub will then contain some information uh, extracted from this workflow. So um, what is this information about? So for each workflow, uh, each entry, uh, uh, Workflow Hub uses some community-driven standards to describe them. To, for example, it uses a common workflow language to describe, uh, to create a really abstract description of what are the inputs, what are each of the steps of the workflow, and what are the outputs. It also uses by schemas to describe the workflow. For example, to describe, uh, yeah, actually, which uh, execution platform is supposed to be working on. And all this data metadata is packed into a workflow allocate, um, which is a really lightweight packaging system. Uh, and the important part of this, you, you can read more about this in, in, in these links that are here. But the important part of this is that it then has this really uh, standard of uh, exchange format that is being used by Workflow Hub. So the idea of having a standard is um, the integration with other services. Um, for example, first of all, um, you can upload your workflow, just your files and other associated data sets. And then you can download this um, arrow crate. And this one can be, for example, linked to a, to a publication where you want to share your workflow and how the analysis was done and all the metadata associated with it, with this um, following this standard. And another uh, thing related with uh, having a yeah, standard of, of uh, storing the information about the workflow is, for example, that you can store associated data like uh, testing data, and then you can, following this standard, uh, link it uh, to testing platform, for example. And then it will automatically be able to fetch a workflow, uh, know where the data sets for the testing are located, and make use of the testing data and test if the workflow is running okay. So um, with this in mind, what I mentioned, so it's pretty much agnostic. So each of the entries, independently of how the workflow itself is defined, have more or less the same description. Uh, each workflow entry has, for example, the input uh, that it requires, all the steps are the outputs. And in this case, we can see, for example, uh, a workflow defined using the CWL, as well as the workflow defined um, in Galaxy, they all have the same kind of uh, interface presented to the user. Uh, so with that, I would just to like to conclude by sh uh, shouting out to the, um, to the communities that really make this possible. There's a lot of people that contributed to the, um, to the development of this platform 
and you as Galaxy community know uh, how much of uh, how important it is actually for the people to contribute to it. So if you want to join to these communities, here are some links that you can use and you're always welcome.